Sorry for not being included in the game. Latch, are you using intentionally Latch? Are you using intentionally Latch? Are you using intentionally Latch? Are you using Latch? Are you using intentionally 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 Latch? Uh, an actor is super simple, actually. You can go check it. An actor just have a couple of actor component, and that's it. An actor component has pretty much nothing in it, you know. So we just have activate some component here and there. So yes, uh, are you using some kind of creator class? I did do something like that back then, you know. Uh, like you, I always had to go through a factory to create an enemy, for example. But it was annoying as fuck, so I stopped doing that. You know, it's good when you do a super fucking big project like an RPG that you will maintain for five years. Okay, do something like that. But if you just want to make like a little game, um, like a platformer or whatever, that you just like when it's ship, it's done. That's it. I will recommend not to go that, you know. I know that I handicap myself a lot by going with uh, factories and shit like that. So that's my whole personal thing, though, you know. Maybe if you're comfortable with that, go ahead with that, you know. The point is, uh, I always wanted to uh, make my code as easy possible for the design phase, you know, because creativity is the hardest part of making games. It's like, you have that idea, and you're like, oh, that would be awesome. But if you're like, oh, but it would gonna take me like five days to do, oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do it. So, you know, so if there's a part of your brain saying, no, I'm not gonna do it because your code is actually hard to maintain, uh, stop doing that, you know? So that's, that's my point. Uh, so now, if, for example, I have, um, if I want to create, uh, I don't know, if I want to create... An enemy, I just do var a actor is equal to, let's take werewolf, yay. So I'm gonna take the werewolf, just take, do a werewolf, let's put it at the 200 and I don't know, like 500, okay, I'm gonna put it 500 and uh, 300. So there we go, I got a new werewolf on every single screen, you know. Uh, just by making new that guy instead of having like this dot yeah my god he's killing everybody he's going nuts shit oh my god <laughs> take that fucking werewolf so whoops <laughs> there you go so you know it's as simple as that you know so that way I can prototype super fast and actually go on words Okay, um, blah, 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 blah. Actually, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought of adding a UI for your library slash game to make it user to manage the sheer amounts of code and files? I'm asking because it looks like you are um, using entity component system for your architecture. I do, and I'm worried about getting messy in any decent sized game. I have a little debug, uh, little debug thing for that. Let me show you. So if I right click, I can do the show latch debug, and there you go. I can do like logical manager. I can see all the animation on screen. I can see every single sprite on the screen. I can also see from the game scene. So uh, here I can see I have three enemies. I actually have three villagers. If I check the first villagers, these are positioned over there. So that's an X and Y, and I see all of the component over there. So he has a biped control component, a biped renderer. He has a simple word collision. He has a behavior uh, callback, weight effect, blah blah blah. Everything is in there, you know. Uh, so I can see the heroes. The heroes has all those stuff, all those components in there. I can see the items. There's a sh there's a shrine somewhere. Um, FX, there's also a background, the background is taken care of uh, with uh, all of that, you know. Uh, and then I can also see the screen, there's an in-game UI screen, that's the screen over there that shows your life and mana, etc, uh, etc, etc, et you know. So I coded that like in a day, so now uh, it's super handy, you know, when I just put my mouse, you know, mouse position. So if I put my mouse over there, I know that this spot here in the world is 600, 500. And yeah, 
It's clearly not as good as Unity offers, but it's way more than what I need, you know? I rarely open that up. So, yeah, that's my point. Uh, but yeah, you should do like a big debug screen for yourself, you know, because it's always super handy to have. If you are helping yourself to work, go ahead, you know. Uh, well, do the math, blah, 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 let me, I'm sorry, I actually meant for development, not for debugging in-game, like making hundreds of ITT, some entity equal to some entity, uh, blah, 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 sorry, I don't understand that, sorry, I don't, I, I meant not for development, but for debugging in-game, like making hundreds of entity, yeah, okay, uh, well, you can do hundreds of entity with the for loop, but I don't understand your question, my friend, sorry. I don't understand what you're trying to say, be polymatic. <sighs> what I do have, though, is um, uh, shortcuts. Lots of shortcuts. Maybe it's, uh, it's what you're talking about. Uh, maybe clear that up. Hang on. Boom, boom. All right. So if I press any button, like any... Whoa, there you go. Any number button, something's going to appear. Ah, oh, fuck. There you go. So, yeah, you can trust me. If I press 1, boom, a little isopod here appear. If I press F5, bah, the boss number 2 appear. If I press F7, lots of bosses appearing and lots of shit is appearing. Fuck. And now I broke the game. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Hey, CG Tiger. See you around, my friend. You can also see that debug screen in the Latch and Friends RPG. Yes, exactly. Exactly. If you right click, you're going to see it. Uh, what else? I know that I have like a debug shortcut component that have all those little shortcuts. Uh, F12. There you go. If I press, come on. There you go. If I press F12, boom! A lot of blocks are appearing. So now I can try to break them up. Straight out. <laughs> So now I should be able to do that, actually. Boom. Oh, no, it doesn't break. Okay, I have to fix that out. But yeah. Boom. So I can test. You know, my point was I can test uh, the behaviors of the block. Boom. Just by pressing F12, you know. So, yeah. Okay, to simply the question. Any reason for not making a Unity 3D UI like client for development while using an entity system? Uh, well, I don't need it. So... Yeah, I don't need that much power, you know, I just need, uh, usually I just restart the whole thing. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I know what I can answer for your question. I don't need that because I already have Flash and I'm using Flash for all the design and the placement of enemies and everything, you know. For example, placing all enemies on the screen, that would be super hard if I had to do new enemy on 600 and 550 for that screen and you know what i mean and that will be super fucking hard and long actually <laughs> long and hard but what i do instead is this okay so that is all the levels let me put that on big Woo. okay so that's all the levels of the game you know every single part of the game so what i do is i have a layer that show the uh actual visual please show me that there you go okay so i have this on this i have the visual and i have the enemy placement you know so what i just do is if i copy paste that like three thousand time what about if i do uh yeah a little skeleton here another skeleton over there a uh, little float over there boom so i just compile that and check out in the game hello okay here we go and check in the game you know what's happening you know what's happening oh apparently it has been a, a, a while since i did that hang on oh yeah uh yeah that's because i changed it there we go there we go there we go 
Hello, my computer is getting a little slow. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, computer is beginning a little slower. Okay, so if I go on the first map, it should be. Ah, fuck yeah! What the hell is happening? So you know, I just copy paste stuff. You know, since Flash already give me a lot of, uh, you know, Flash is already a good design, a good, um, a good. There we go. It's already a good movie clip placement and, you know, a good uh, artist still, so why not using the, the power of Flash? Steve is now the channel, welcome aboard, thanks for following! So yeah, my point is, why not using that, you know? So I don't need to recreate that, I already have that in Flash, so I just take that and, yeah, do, 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 uh, do the level design with this. Same thing for collisions and same thing for everything. All right, uh, where am I? Whoa, that's exactly what I wanted you to answer. Okay, cool. So you use the Swift to get all the values you need. All about stuff more advanced than position and size, like health, etc. Or do you make it a separate XML or anything? Well, for health, uh, I do have a class that does exactly this. Like I have, um, Okay, I have an HP here, and I have like a little function that because you know the health, for example, is always variable uh, with the game. Like as you progress in the game, you get more health. So I uh, I just put uh, all those function uh, in here about those. But to answer your question, I cannot like change the value of the health uh, while I'm playing. I cannot do that. I have to recompile every single time. You know. Uh, but again, I don't need it. I don't need that because I can like put a shortcut that would do exactly the same thing, you know. So what I do for all those little constant, I do have like a big constant file with all the constants over here, and that here can be managed with an external uh, XML. So for example. Uh, I give that to the game designer, for example, and he like balance the game like, okay, this should be that damage, that should be this amount of damage, blah, blah, blah. Everything here is there. So the HP, experience points and damage of every single enemy is over there. Uh, the damage of the hero, the cost of the stuff, everything is here. And that class, yeah, like the amount of experience point needed to change level, everything here, that will be written uh, with an external XML if I need, you know, so I can give the build to somebody else and uh, a text file and he change the value himself and play the game is to, to check out everything, you know, so yeah. Lash, what's your opinion of Game Maker? I've heard 